A lot of things they want to do. I'm gonna go out and see my daughter in Montana. She was like, "Man, I should have just drove out there, and you could have flew out one way." Yeah, I could have. I'm just nervous about her driving that that far. Anything that requires her needing to get a motel room, I like to be along with. And that was all the time. Not just because of today's day and ages, that was pretty much the situation ever since we've been together for the last 30 plus years. If it requires an overnighter, 
it required me to be there. Yeah, you know, watching on the TikTok and watch the latest foolishness. So much hate and division there. Does people they spend more time concentrating on their lives and less time worrying about others? The world would be a happier place. I mean, it really would be. Boy, I tell you. Life is so good here in the States that we have to make stuff up. We gotta invent invent stuff to be mad about. Just to me it just don't make sense. Hey, I think I'm gonna get across the other side of the road here. I don't like the amount of shoulder I have. But it is a beautiful day. My advice to you, all you angry people, all right, fix your own your own back door, your own backyard first, before you worry about anybody else's. You want to clean up the world? Clean up your your house. Clean up your yard. Clean up your street. All right, start there. Don't come to a college campus and scream at people. Grow up. I can't believe it. But anyway, the rest of y'all, going to the parks and listening to live music and cookouts. You know, working hard for a living. Being responsible for your, your children. That's the way to do it. Ah, right, puppies. So today I get my walk in early. I've already taken two buckets of water out to the garden. There is no rain in the forecast for quite a while. That's usually the way it is. We get our monsoons in the spring and our drought in the summer. So I just every time I go in the house, I fill the three gallon water watering bucket up. And then anytime I walk out, I go and water it. And that kind of keeps me going. Potatoes are doing really well. I think I'll have another good potato crop. I got like six more grow bags to, to plant. I haven't decided what I want to put in there yet. I do have some more potatoes in the house that I think are going to seed, so I might just plant some of those. And then probably gonna have to buy one or two tomato plants. Ones I planted by seed, they're still alive, but they're struggling. And then I do have a lot of green pepper plants that sprung up pretty healthy. And I got an idea where I'm gonna put those. So we're coming up here to Mud Creek. See what sort of aquatic and wild, wild fowl life there is. It is a beautiful day. You can't beat these days for a walk. A walk, throw, probably some lifting. And you gotta go in town later to drop a package off. So I'll probably go to the Pontiac gym. Thinking arms and shoulders. Got up early this morning. Had me a grapefruit. But you can tell it's off season. Because the uh, last two grapefruits and orange that I bought from Walmart were pretty dry. Not good at all. So it's one of those things that to keep in mind, you know, the best fruits come down from down south and that growing season is probably over already. 
So yeah, the last ones I cut open were really thick skin and really dry inside. Still got my nutrition, but not the enjoyment I usually get. Oh, let's come up here to Wood Creek and see what we can sneak upon. Sometimes we'll have like a turtle. Well, I will hit the zoom a little bit. Water should be pretty clear. We haven't had any rain for the most part. Yeah. My pond is clear. Oh, something just kicked off from the end there. Probably a turtle. You can see the mud it kicked up. So there was probably a turtle there. Oh, yep, there he is. In a soft shell. If I hold still. Yep, soft shell turtle. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the other side. Pretty neat. Soft shell turtle. They're just kind of cruising there at the edge of the creek. So, so I get my cardio in. Yeah, that's how I unwind. Squirrel. They're kind of common. Neighbor, I get eggs from every now and then. Got a big bunch of egg cartons. I need to drop off to one of them. Just you know, trying to reuse stuff instead of just burning them away the first time use. We try to get five or six uses out of the cartons, so I collect them for them. So we had our, our little turtle spot. I'll put that up on a short of my farms and prepping. That'd be a cool little video. And I think I'll just concentrate on getting a good walk in. A couple shout outs to Michael, the body beat down. Good channel to watch, keep you motivated. He doesn't slow down, so I can't. And uh, now we get back, it'll be time for breakfast, which will be my probably usual bacon and eggs. Gotta go with a winning, winning combination. Next event is in Iowa, where I'll be throwing. And I'd like to get a good throw off. If I get something in the 130s, I'd be pretty happy. My goal is going to be over 130 feet. I think I've been putting a time in for it. So hopefully that will work out for me. And then uh, July, 140 feet would be a good throw. You don't think much about that 10 extra feet, but... 
it's a much more much much nicer presentation you know 120 foot throw versus 140 just a whole different scene and then uh there are lifting events on the 24th of june and the 14th of july i'll just have to see what sort of shape i'm in whether i do those or not i think i'm gonna work on my belly and try to get it down and not worry too much about the upper raw strength i'll still stay i'll still stay at trying to chase the 405 all the time but uh i think i'm gonna try to shed the belly a little bit i think i've let it get a little bit too full so summertime's a perfect time to to move on that so more reps more exercise healthier food is the key and that should work out so everybody thanks for joining in have a wonderful wonderful week it's Tuesday we got a big three-day weekend coming hope everybody enjoys it and stays safe